Well, I guess welcome to the first video of our bus building series. So, hey, how you doing? My name's Devin, and Morgan is looking so ecstatic. But here we are. Um, today's plan is we're going to try and get this bad boy all cleaned out. Um, we got to put together a list to try and figure out like things that we actually need so we're probably gonna go out to the store today probably pick up some stuff um we'll start the bus just so that you guys can hear it still runs and then we'll kind of go from there well we don't really know what the plan is as of right now so we're still trying to figure that out we got our pen and paper out here trying to figure out ideas and what we need put together a list and yeah so that's kind of the plan i already fell off the roof this morning so i'm kind of glad that i started this now I'm fine. We're good. I just got a little battle wound. Check that out. Looks nice. I'm gonna be nice and bruised. It's fine. We're Gucci. So, anyways, I'll show you. We'll uh, probably do a little time lapse of us cleaning out the bus and go from there. So, alright. So, I guess since we're here, I'll just show you guys what's going on. Somebody left clothes in here. Oh, there's some oh. Too. There's a spoon, a hat. Whatever the hell that is, I don't know. But check it. This is our little bus. We already bought some stuff, nothing super fancy. We just got our Max fan, a bar light. This is backup camera. So we already got some stuff. And the guy that we bought it from gave us some stuff. Um, if you guys want to know the details of the bus, there's some of the details. As you can see here, I already took out the seats. So that's one less thing that we have to do, but we are actually going to be pulling all of this, all of this up, and then we are going to be probably doing rust-oleum on the floor and everything, which means we also have to try and get rid of this rubber, like whatever weather resistant stuff on the floor. So we've got a lot of work I'm trying to see what else he kind of, he threw in some lumber for us, which is cool because lumber is a little expensive right now. There is a fridge. We probably won't use this one, but we'll see. It's all we're still kind of playing it by ear. He gave us a sink. I don't know if we'll use this one, but we shall see. Sure power, I'm assuming. He gave us a, some electrical wire, which I don't know if we will use. We got some outlets. I don't know if we'll use those, maybe. And he also gave us some puck lights. So we have a bunch of those too, so. Oh, and then we got all of that package tubing. Thank you. So, so cool stuff, man. Cool stuff. got it all kind of cleaned out as you can see um, now one of the things that we're gonna try and do is all this floor right here we're actually just gonna start ripping all this stuff up we're gonna save it see if we can maybe sell it or something I think you said there was water yeah so like this is a perfect example of like why we're getting this up that right there that's not okay that's not good that's what we're gonna try and do now is rip all this stuff up and see what's under it Show you guys something really quick. 
And I guess this is a perfect example of like, you never know what you're gonna get. So, uh, we pulled up, or at least starting to pull up all this floor, and you can see all this wood. This wood is soaked, which means that the guy who had this before us was laying down all this flooring, and the entire floor is soaked. So he would have started getting rust, and you know, all the metal on the bottom would probably start rusting away, and then he'd end up losing his floor. So just walking on it, I can feel like how wet this floor is. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull up all of this rubber, we're gonna pull up all of this wood, and we're probably gonna have to try and clean the floor. So that's the next step. Yesterday was interesting. Basically, I had to go to, we went to Menards, we grabbed some things. By the time we got back and, uh, you know, a few other things, it was too dark for us to start recording, but we were out here still working on this anyways. We were just trying to get this wood up because, like I told you guys previously, is that the whole entire, like, floor, the wood and everything is soaked. So, if I can actually show you here, here's the wood that's left. We have two panels left, and then... The rest of this okay. is all just down to the metal. And I kind of swept a little bit of it out yesterday to see, because I think there's a leak somewhere. I just can't figure out where it's exactly at. I think it might be somewhere like right here. Um, as you can see, there's some water here. Um, and then there are quite a few holes still in the bottom so there's a hole there's a giant hole right here can't really see it very well but it's also been really rainy and cloudy so i apologize for the really low light i need to get some lights in here there's still a lot of holes that they didn't patch and stuff so this is something that we are really going to have to mess with so the plan for the rest of today is at least to try and get all these rivets out all of these rivets here um, down on the panels down here uh, and then also to try and get the rest of this wood up and then I promise I promise I will still start the bus it's really annoying because there is a very loud like screeching noise that's coming from this radio right here so I don't know what's going on in the dash but there is something that's going on I don't know what it is but there's something it sounds like a screaming banshee and it makes me just cringe every time I hear it. So um, that's kind of the plan for today. Today, this is like a continuation of yesterday, but it's mostly just us trying to rip everything out because we still have a little bit of gutting and stuff to do. So but other than that, I'll see you guys once we get started. So we got some lights out here now. So it should be a little bit easier to see. It's also pouring down raining. Well, it's not really pouring, but it's raining. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys like what I was talking about um, when I was talking about this flooring. Now that you can actually see it here. So if you look, right here, this is the metal floor. We got it ripped all up. And this is how this wood is. Like this wood is like soaked. It's literally just like falling apart. Like my hands are wet from that. When you guys are doing a bus build, you should really pull up the floor because if we would leave this like it is now and we just went ahead and put all the uh, flooring down and everything 
literally, you're going to have all this rust, you're going to have sitting water, and then you have all this wood that is soaked. So then you're going to end up having mildew problems, you're going to have mold, you know, your the entire bottom of your bus is going to start rusting out. So just make sure that you pull up the floor. It's a little extra work, but you're future-proofing your bus if you actually pull it up. Just remember that. Once we get this done, um, you guys can kind of see on the floor how there's all these little screws. I'm assuming this is where the seats were because the seats were already pulled out and there's also nails from the wood. We got to grind all that stuff down and then we got to clean it up. We got to try and get it dry in here before we can do anything and then we are going to try and scrape up and clean up a lot of this uh, rust here so that we can actually lay down rust-oleum on the whole thing. There's all the wood. That's all the wood that we just pulled out. So this is all down to the metal. The only spot that we still have yet to do is right here, where we also have to pull out the seat. So that is something that we are going to have to do as well. You know, I really wish the sun would come out, but whatever. Started doing all these rivets right here. I did a few of them along here just to test it out. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but basically what I've been doing is I've taken this drill here and we have a, a 3 16th drill bit on here and I'm literally, literally just taking it and screwing into the, the center of those rivets and they just pop right out. There's a lot of them so it'll probably take you a little bit but I mean so far from what I've noticed at least to get the small ones out that's probably the easiest way. Um, you could also try and grind them off if you really wanted to I'd assume. Um, but one of the other things that we will have to try and do is we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get these bigger ones out and these bigger ones we're probably going to just grind all of them all of them off because they're thicker so running a drill bit into these is going to be a little bit more difficult so that's kind of where we're at with that morgan is trying to get this seat pulled out so we can get the rest of this wood pulled up and the only problem is is to get this bolt for the seat belt i don't know if you can see it this bolt right here there's actually another nut on the other end of it so you're gonna need to um have somebody get under there and you also try and get this one off so then you also have these we went ahead and just took the seat off but you also have one two three four five six bolts to get out for this guy this is also i think a 17 millimeter so that's what we're trying to do as of right now okay so we got the chair out finally we took Forever. We decided for now, because of how it's set up, this board is under this. So for right now, I think we're just going to leave that and probably come back to it. We're just trying to clean up and dry up the floors. Something I feel like people don't talk about very often is how hard that chair is to get out. It took like four hours, probably an hour and a half of Devin and me trying to pull it out. So, heads up. If your bus is going to be rusty, it's probably going to be a pain in the butt to pull out. Another thing that I forgot to mention that I don't think people talk about, and maybe it just depends on the type of bus that you have. Um, ours is a Bluebird Vision um, 2005. This bar is bolted into the bus itself so we also can't get any of this board out right now because 
the nuts sit right behind the wheel well and it's ridiculously muddy so that's gonna have to be another day um I think this is one of those days feels like we haven't really got all done it's only day two but that's okay As you can see, basically she's just taking it and she's using a 3 16th like I said and we're just drilling straight into the middle of the rivet. should just pop right through. Some of them are a little bit easier, some of them are a little bit more difficult, but you'll get it figured out. <laughs> 